T-14 Armada is only tank that can operate it with remote control. It was considered Russia's secret main battle tank. A new tank concept has surfaced in Russia about 10 years after the country abandoned in favor of sleeker, newer-looking T-14 Armata tank. It is a Russian state-of-art tank which made an impressive debut during the victory parade of 2015 in Moscow. Armata T-14 is the first tank designed entirely in post of Soviet era. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Armata T-14 MBT features an innovative design in the world of tanks. It has a fully automated and unmanned turret. Perhaps that may mean most innovative technological decision taken by its creators. This should allow better protection for the tank's crew, now located in the hull, though the shift could come at the expense of situational awareness. In fact, due to its new gen revolutionary turret, a field of vision which is created only by numerous HD cameras and sensor mounted all around, Armata 14 is well on the way on becoming the first unmanned battle tank in the history. It is also the most powerful tank in the history. In the future, it is planned to fit T-14 Armata tank with the long-awaited massive 152mm gun modifications which will be able to penetrate through a meter of steel. If this is true, it will be most powerful tank gun in the history. T-14 Armata MBT equipped with Afghanit Active Protection System or AAPS. The ambitious AAPS radar to detect incoming projectiles and automatically intercept them. Like with many things, AAPS exact parameters are unclear, Russians claim that it could stop missile launched from an Apache helicopter, while US Army expect to say defense will mostly be effective against the grenades and sub-caliber projectiles. It is lighter and faster than most modern MBTs. The Armata 14 maintains one of the trademark qualities of Russia armored vehicle, a higher top speed. The new Russian state-of-art tank is able to move up to 90 km per hour, which is more than 20 km faster than the US Abrams M1A2 main battle tank. The tank is not cheap, not expensive. The Armata's price was estimated at about 8 million at the current exchange rates per unit. It launches T-14 Armata in the upper price range for main battle tanks but still remains cheaper than the French AMX, Leclerc and US M1A2 Abrams tank. The Russians are planning to start receiving more than 500 a year with the eventual order expected to top out at 2300 units, more than two-thirds of its armor capabilities. India is marked as the possible first foreign client for the Armata following by China, Algeria and Belarus. Dear viewers, do you think this tank will able to change the battle strategy? Don't forget to comment down below, like this video and share it with your friends.